Hey everyone, it's Jason. Welcome back to the Firefly 10th Anniversary Unboxings. Uh, each video we have been going through a different uh, set of expansions. They're included in there, but just in case you'd like to look at them independently or pick them up separate if you're buying them uh, different. Uh, so we, today we're going to go over the Coach Works expansions, um, which are a... Uh, it's a set of two different packs that were Jet Wash and Esmeralda, which are two additional ships. We're going to get some more tokens to work for each one of them, uh, plus the new drive cores, plus some extra supply cards, which are really cool. Um, not a whole lot we need to go over for rules on there because they're just extra ships. Um, I was just going to find the page that mentioned them, just in case I needed to double check any of it. But I think the only thing was, was the weeder cards. And of course, now that I'm looking for it, I can find it because that's how looking for looking up stuff works, right? Um, blue sun, blue sun, rainbow. Coach works, yes. Um, yeah. So basically, what they are is they are uh, series five uh, fireflies, so just upgraded versions of a better drive core. Um, so some people might choose to get these for extra stuff. Um, it says, because the Series 5 is built on the same basic Firefly chassis, you can swap the Series 5 ship starting core drive from the core drive from available supply planets. Um, so it's nice. You can still keep using the same cores for everything. Um, also, some of them are pre-equipped with a set of ship upgrades. Starting ship upgrades have prices listed on them. During the game step, if you start the ship with starting upgrades, you must pay the costs. So this is the difference. They do get some extra upgrades. They have a couple of different stuff than the regular Fireflies do from the base game, but you are end up starting with less money. So it's kind of a give or take on which way you'd like to go. Um, and that's because then that's to mention just how each one works. Um, and we'll get into those when we get there. So the first thing I want to go over was in this the 10th anniversary set it is listed as being part of the main core set because it's a um one of the older model fireflies same as the rest of them uh so it's a little blue one here it's the artful dodger which is the same as all the rest of the base game ones um so it's a, technically like the fifth one uh but it's slightly different and it originally came in its own pack you had to buy it separately um, then maybe like re-releases, they may have added it in there. Uh, but it has its main drive, its slot, um, it's three slots, but it has a max crew of seven, uh, where the other ones have a max crew of six. It gives you one extra space there, but it does have a slightly small, smaller cargo hold and stash. Um, I don't think I have the other ones here. Yeah, the other ones had, uh, two less cargo hold, or two more cargo holds. So basically you're trading two of your cargo hold to have one extra crew member. And that's a little bit different trade-off you're getting if you pick this one instead of one of the other ones. Um, it's just kind of interesting to get. Uh, that does have its core drive, which is a modified Radeon Accelerator Mark II, which gives you a range of six instead of five. Um, it's just kind of neat, like compared to the original four, one person could opt to play this one instead, get some another crew member and a little bit extra range. Um, for the sake of two less spots to hold things. So kind of a little bit interesting to do that. Um, but I just want to point that one out because it's listed as components as being part of that. The next one up we want to look at is Esmeralda. So Esmeralda can only hold five crew, so even less than the base ones, which are six. Only has two upgrade slots. Um, as its main drive and can do three jobs, of course. But it does have some other differences in there. You see its stash can only hold fuel. So it's not meant to be holding uh, legal stuff and contraband and stuff. But then its main hold now has um, 12 slots instead of the normal 8. So it does gain an additional 4 slots. And basically its stash went straight to the cargo hold. And that is a special 3 stash just for fuel. Um, so it kind of plays a little bit differently. Um... New panel, so now you're not gonna probably want to be doing as much, um, as much like stealing and stuff like that. I think the description for it was, I can never find this. Um, 
just a sec. Alright, yeah, so the Esmeralda is a dedicated transport vessel that affords passengers of maximum comfort, protects fugitives as mobile refuge, and is equipped with two starting upgrades. Um, so it does have a special rule here. Fugitives on board cannot be seized by Alliance. So you can put them in there, you just don't have to hide them in the uh, cargo stash, uh, which is kind of nice. So, it's kinda, so yeah, this is kind of a neat, like... You've played the game a bunch of the base ships. You can now pick up some of these expansions, which give your players extra things. The only downside again is that uh, this one, Jet Wash, um, play a little bit differently. Um, but yeah, if you only pick up these two, like you're just picking up the sets by themselves, that means if you're playing a four player game, two players can have other ships that do a little bit different stuff. One player can also pick up their well, Dodger potentially, have a slightly different one. That leaves a third. Fourth player is like having to play as a basic ship. So yeah, there are some other expansions. They'll have more other ships available. Give you some different stuff. Uh, so before you look at the gear for the Esmeralda, I want to just quickly look at the jet wash as well. So lots of the same stuff. Five crew. Um, this is the upgraded series. So it has the same cargo, same stash. But it does have a different ability. It has um, special uh, rule. Emergency nav. Discard a part to count as a pilot. So it has a little bit different there as well. Um, and if you can't figure out what the jet wash is, the little picture, it's a leaf on the wind. Um, the jet wash is christened in memory of Holbein Washburn, husband and pilot. Um, you know, of course, Wash from the um, <laughs> from the main show. Um, it can spend parts to benefit from its emergency nav assistance equipped with two starting upgrades as well. Um, so cool. So yeah, let's go ahead and then now let's hop in and look at what their upgrades are. So there are two ships. We're going to have uh, the purple and green one. And then as a comparison to the Artful Dodger, which is the smaller class ship. As you can see, they are a little bit... I'll just hold two up at a time. They're a different size. Um, same design and everything. They just upgraded it and ship size a little bit, which is really cool. Uh, slightly different paint jobs. But yeah, it gives you a little bit bigger ships to do, deal with. Um, Alright, so the Esmeralda has some starting cards. So we have our... Let me drop this down a little bit. We're going to have our core drive here. Uh, it says a range of five, same as the old ones. Um, but it's to spend one field, initiate full burn. One we'll initiate... Uh... So when you're shooting full burn, spend one additional fuel to increase your max range by two. So that's kind of a neat little uh, extra mechanic there. So if you want to spend it to get there a little bit faster, spend a little extra fuel to get across the board a little bit more. Um, the second one we get is ship upgrade. We have two cargo spots, caravan pods, you know, passengers and fugitives, uh, plus one of your ship's max crews. Now you can upgrade it to six. Um, and then you can hold two extra things that can be passing your fugitives, which are kind of nice. But it does cost you 400 right off the bat to have this. Now, later on, you can obviously get rid of your upgrades. You only have two slots. So if you have these on there, you might want to swap them out for other things you pick up. But again, you might not have to then spend money buying other upgrades as you go along. The other one, which of course is always have the blue backs on there, is the ship upgrade, the full mess deck. You can... Bring your fly action to discard cargo or contraband to remove disgruntled from all your crew. Yes, it costs 800 to basically start this. Um, but you get some extra nice little abilities. But again, you guys get rid of this for something else later on if you would like. Then we have three more cards for Persephone. So if we want to upgrade later on. So one is going to be, again, another full mess, uh, full mess deck. Uh, to let anybody pick this up. And then we'll have two copies of the Caravan Pods. So that's really cool that this ship gets it. But then now any other ship can get a hold of these as well. Um, so that way everyone can play roughly on the same thing. And they do have kind of like the little uh, emerald symbol in the back. To kind of show off the um, the set of that. Um, Alright, then let's hop in. Let's look at what Jet Wash does. Jet wash is 
starting cards are going to be Drive Court Gravicon Accelerator V1. So the exact same one as the Esmeralda has, I believe it should be the exact same one. Yep. Um, yeah, so Filburn or Spank two more, but he does have different upgrades. We have the Na Decoy Nav Set Cluster. Discard, discard, start of a move action to treat all Nav cards. It would be normally move a Reaver Alliance ship as Big Black instead. So it's kind of a gamble because you don't know what's going to come up, but definitely, if you're, especially if you're full burning it for extra two, it's seven cards you can draw. That might definitely help. Um, would help you get rid of them and not have to worry about them. Um, would cost 400 to start. And then we also have the Zing Shu Emergency Ram Guts. This card using action to initiate. Uh, a full burn, maybe using addition to a standard move action. Um, so it's kind of neat here at the start of a move action, tree all nab set. So you can't, you have to do this for each one of these, but this costs another 600. So yeah, we're, uh, Esmeralda costs 800, wa Jet Wash costs 1,000 to start with. But it does have the ability to travel a lot f farther and faster. Um, so that's pretty cool. The other starting card we're going to get for that is we get a copy of Zoe as a leader. Um, so there's a rule that says if you use her as a leader, you have to take her out of the um, stage coach, I think it is. Stage coach work? No, I can't remember. Um, the deck that she's in. Um, yeah, so you have to take her out so you can't have her... You can't have a character as a, both a leader and as a crew in a deck so you can't get them at the same time. Alternative, I'd say if you don't want to hunt her down in the deck, if she ever pops up, at that point, remove her and just draw a new card. Rather than have to dig through a deck the entire time, because she might never come up, but it's not really an issue. Uh, this is cool. She can start her off as a leader as well. She has uh, three fighting loyalty. Soldiers in your crew do not become disgruntled if they are not paid a uh, cut of their successful job and may carry two gears. She's pretty powerful. Um... So will load her up with soldiers, have her do fighting jobs, um, and carry a bunch of gear. Definitely cool. Then we get two uh, upgrade cards for the Space Bazaar, which are our Emergency Ram Jets and our Sat Clab. Sat Nav, Sat Cluster. So again, anyone can get a copy of these two cards as well. Uh, so it's definitely cool. Uh, then the last thing we have in here, I'm going to zoom back out because we got some big cards is for Esmeralda, we are going to get some big green starting cards. Um, these are always fun because they give you optional ways to play the game. Um, so yeah, if you got tired of just playing the regular mode, here's some different startups you can do. So you have the Blitz. So the goal of the game is first choose a story. Um, and then nav set, shuffle the Alliance, Cruiser, Reaver, Cutter cards into the nav decks regardless of the player count. Um, then Alliance... Uh, step three and choosing ships all stay the same. So step four, strip mining starting cards. Choose one supply deck to be strip mined. The player who won the role for choosing ships and layers claims the dinosaur, which is your first player marker. Really number of cards from the top of this chosen supply equal to the number of players. Start with the dinosaur, proceeding to the left. Players start turns claiming one revealed supply card at no cost. After all cards have been claimed, pass the dinosaur to the play the left. We have another batch of cards and take turns claiming cards against the starting, against start the player who is now has the dinosaurs. Repeat this and all players have had the dinosaur and the opportunity to pick a card first. Interesting. Um, yeah, so you're going to choose a supply deck and then you're going to basically like run through if you have four players, each player is going to get four cards out of it. That's kind of cool. Um, and then priming the pump, double dip. For the top six cards of each supply deck, place all revealed cards in their discard piles. So it's kind of a neat way to like play around with it. Um, so everyone's going to get a bunch of cards to start with, which is very helpful. Uh, but it's also going to make that one location not nearly as good. Um, later on, you'll have like, four cards or you know, so how many have players out of there. Then we also get a new story card. We have Down and Out. Um... 
sort of a new job, new setup and job we can play here. So place one job from each contact face up on its deck. These face up jobs form a shared hang of inactive jobs for everyone may use. All players start with a warrant token. In this game, players do not have their own hang of jobs. Deal action can only be used from the buys. In this game, players do not have their own hang of job cards. Deal action cards may only be used to buy from or sell contacts. Um, you may gain face up job in the contact decks. When you start a working job, claim it and place it up in your active job as normal. Uh, replace that job with another from another deck. So there's always one face up on each contact deck. Interesting. Um, if there are no contact discard piles any time, you can First player becomes solid five different contacts. That's actually kind of a neat way to do it. So everyone has access to every single area at a time. Um, you just have to like look at them and pick them out. So that's a different way to play it. Like maybe a way to get you used to like how the contacts and stuff work. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, well, I love these different stars. Just different ways to play the game. Like the base way of doing how you do it, how you travel, how you have to do your actions, all this stuff stays basically the same, but gives you a different goal instead of just who can get the most money after 20 turns. Here's a different way to play. Who can be complete five jobs quickest? It's kind of cool. Um, and so those are ones that are included with Esmeralda. So if you bought the Esmeralda separate, you get those two. These are the two that are included with Jet Wash. We have a new starting card. We have the Brown Coat Way. Um, first choose a story card, shuffle the alliance like normal, each player receives 12,000. Um, all players roll dice. The player at the highest result either selects a leader or purchases a ship, paying the bank to list the price on the ship's card. After purchasing a ship, place the ship's model as normal. Uh, pa player passes, play passes a left, each player choosing a leader or ship. The last player selects a leader and purchases a ship. Um, then players reverse, passing back to the right. Each player makes the remaining choices. Um, players do not receive free starting fuel or parts once all players have purchased a ship and choose a leader. Everyone may buy fuel and parts. Do not take starting jobs. Interesting. So, yeah, this is kind of saying here, you start with all this money, and then each player just to kind of go through and pick their leader or ship, and then go back the other way and pick the opposite thing so that at the end... Everyone gets an option. So, hey, I really want to play as this guy or I want this ship. You kind of decide what you want. Um, and then, yeah, you buy everything to start with. And you're going to start with very, very little money um, to begin with. So, it kind of starts you off the way, like, the kind of the show starts, right? Eh, well, not exactly, but, like, how it would start that way. That's kind of cool. Uh, and then our story is where the wing takes us. Um, so, if each player draws three jobs from the contact, that's their choice. Places a glow token at the jobs, at the jobs, drop off target destination sectors. In the game, just three or fewer players draw four cards. Turn all the jobs to their contact deck and reshuffle the decks. Um, do not deal starting jobs. Anytime players successfully complete any job in a sector of the gold token, they may claim that gold token. Interesting. First player and three gold tokens wings. Cool. That's kind of a neat way to do it too. Like, right, instead of like the other one, as an we had to complete five different jobs from each different thing. This, you're trying to complete jobs from different areas. So it's kind of our luck of the draw as well. Um, Cause some contacts might go for certain areas versus others. Um, I draw three jobs from a contact deck with a choice of places a gold token on that jobs. It's just interesting that has each player do it, like, where it could have just said, like, I guess, like, I don't know why it wouldn't just said reveal, um, three jobs from each one and place it there and then put the tokens down. Because it doesn't matter if the players are drawing them because then they put them all back anyhow, right? Um, interesting though. Maybe it's just so that way everyone feels like they're interacting with the game. Not really sure. All right, that's what we have for the Coachworks expansions. So if you're looking to, uh, if, if again, fire, have the 10th anniversary, now you have three extra, 
two, two or three extra ships, depending on how you want to look at it. Give you some different options, uh, some new story modes, some new setup modes, which is always great. If you're looking to, if you already have just the core game, you're looking at picking up expansions, these are definitely, again, some great ways to add a little bit of variety. If you're playing, like, two or three players, each person gets to pick, like, Esmeralda or Jet Wash to give you just a definite little upgrade. Um, or, you know, maybe if you have, um, like, I don't want to necessarily say, like, experience versus non being, like, hey, the experienced players could get one of the, or newer players could get these, and experienced player takes one of the basic ones. Because they're not necessarily any worse or better. Yes, they start with more cargo space, but they don't have the extra stash to hide people. So they can't really do illegal jobs as well. Uh, plus, they have to spend more of their money right off the bat. Um, to, yeah, to be able to buy them and stuff. And if you ever have to buy them by list price, see, the Artful Dodger is 85 Other ones are 95 and 93 so almost $1,000 more. Plus, you're spending, again... 1800 to a 1000 extra money. So you're spending almost 2000 extra dollars right off the bat just to be able to use one of these ships. Um, so yeah, kind of interesting. Yeah, if you're looking for more stuff, it's definitely a cool way to pick up. Also remember, though, if you can watch the overview video, you'll see I compared these ships to the original versions. These are all gray with like little highlights, which are look really cool. Uh, the original ones are giant neon plastic. So just remember, if you pick up the expansion, you won't get these exact ships. Um, that's what we have for the coach work. Hope to see you guys uh, check out some more of the other Firefly videos for the 10th anniversary. See all the different expansions. Hit me up in the comments. See you guys later. Bye.